when you're in Paris, you're gonna eat in a boulangerie. And they're not all made the same. I mean, some are absolutely amazing and some are a bit industrial. And a lot of them only have to-go items. And if you're like me, you're gonna to wanna to skip that hotel breakfast and come sit down with a cup of coffee to enjoy with your morning croissant. So in this video, we'll take you to five fabulous Paris bakeries where you can relax and have breakfast or lunch or pick up something to go and have a great Paris picnic. Allez, on y va. So this boulangerie is called No Pain, No Gain, but in French, pain, pain. It's, it's a play on words, the way French always do. But we are right here on Rue de Guerre, just around the corner from the catacombs, right by the Denver Rochereau station. And this place is perfect to grab a cup of coffee and a little bite for the morning. They also have things for the afternoon, some quiche and other kinds of stuff that you can grab after you visit the catacombs. And they are renowned for their flan, so that's definitely something you're gonna wanna try. But since we're here in the morning, we got this little baby right here. And this is brioche style bread with little bits of chocolate and a pistache uh, cream. And I'm ready to take a bite. Look, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that should be amazing. It's really fluffy, like a soft bread. It's not like a croissant, not flaky. Really soft, light, fluffy bread with chocolate and pistache. And it's divine. You need to try it. And when you get your coffee inside, there's a machine, so they don't make it and serve it to you. Um, you can charge the, um, the coffee on the bill and she'll give you the coins to buy it, but you just push the buttons on the machine, get an espresso, a cafe au lait, whatever kind of coffee you want, and you're good to go. So this is the first time I'm trying a what looks like to be a pain au raisin, but they call it an escargot with pistache and chocolate. It's a little decadent for a breakfast uh, thing, but it's really good. Wow, that thing is amazing. This is really good. So we are at the boulangerie Poupa Pico, and we're literally across the street from the metro station La Motte Piquet Grenelle, which is one of the metro stations for the Eiffel Tower. And this is, place is great because you can get a uh, pastry, a bakery, and a sandwich, and a beverage, and you can sit on the street, and it's really delightful being right there. So if you have a hotel nearby, you can come and have breakfast here or lunch, and all their stuff is really good. And what I got today is I got a sandwich with salami, and it's probably got butter underneath. Yeah. I could see the butter underneath. A salami sandwich for lunch. I'll take a bite. I love a Parisian sandwich. So satisfying, the crunchiness of the bread, the salami. Oftentimes I have a jambon beurre, ham and cheese, but I went with salami today and it doesn't disappoint. It's really good. Look at that. Look at this beautiful, how gorgeous this bread is. You know, if you have a, uh, a quiche or a pizza or whatever they have that uh, you would want to have eat it, they'll eat it up uh, right there for you. They'll serve coffee and also beverages. So it's a great way to actually stop, grab a quick bite. And it's great in this area to just come in and then just get a little chair in the, in the shade. People watch, the metro is right there. This is Paris. So I got a mushroom quiche and they heated it up for me just inside. Technically, this is not finger food in France, but I'm going for it. They didn't give me a fork. So I could have asked for one, I'm sure. Quiche in France is just way better than quiche in the US. It has a, a lightness, there's a fluffiness in the crust. You can see like here, you see how that crust is a nice savory custard and it's delicious. Gorgeous and delicious. Look at that glistening. But another thing that's really cool about this place is if you hop off the metro, you can come in here, grab whatever you want to have for lunch, and go take it as a picnic. So you don't have to stop and get the wine and the cheese and the, and the charcuterie, unless you want to. But you can get everything you need right here and carry it over to the Champ de Mars, sit by the Eiffel Tower, and enjoy a lovely lunch. The metro station is literally right here, right across the street, so it couldn't possibly be any easier. That's good stuff. I got an Orane, which is this thing. Check it out. Look at this thing. So it looks like a pâte feuilletée, which is a puff pastry, and it's got a crème pâtissière in it and some apricots. And that looks absolutely delightful. 
They had other pastries in there that look great, but I've never tried this one and I just want to give it a shot. This looks like a great morning breakfast pastry. Oh man. Oh. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is a definitely, I'm going to try this again. Got the apricot, so it makes it a, a seasonal pastry. It's really light, actually. I didn't want something too sweet for the morning, so there it is. Mmm. Oh, seriously, you need this. You, you need to try this. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. So, we just sat here to have breakfast this morning. And then sure enough, there are people that actually watch our videos from Australia. So they're here for vacation for a few days. And just like that, we're having breakfast with fans. This is good. I'm gonna have this more often. Orane. I've never had that. This is really good. You wanna try it? No, this one is really flaky too. This right here is crispy, crunchy uh, sugar, like a little Pad of sugary bread on top. So flaky, so light, and I love the crispy burnt sugary stuff. It's a little bit tart and a little bit sweet, not too sweet, which is perfect in the morning. And I'm sitting right here, right by Bastille with all the bikes going by in a perfect little neighborhood right near Place de Vosges. Life is good. Cheers. By the way, when you're in Paris and if you're looking for the best boulangerie in town, we've put this online guide together with the 100 best boulangerie all around Paris. There's even a little map feature that will give you directions to get to the boulangerie. Check it out right there. Now, back to the video. This boulangerie is Chez Meunier which basically means the miller's place. And there is a reason why there's a long line all the time around here. Because these guys won the prize for best butter croissant in Paris, the best apple tarts, the best all kinds of stuff year after year. They're just an amazing place. They have organic things and it's just a really wonderful spot. So you can get coffee in here. They don't have tables and chairs, which we wanted them all to have for this video, but there's a bench right outside. We've never had trouble getting a seat here, so maybe that'll change after the video. But they have amazing baked things for breakfast. They have fabulous lunches. I can't wait to show you what we got. Look at this thing. This is a tart burrata which is basically a focaccia bread with fresh summer tomatoes, fresh basil, and it just looks so yummy, I can't stand it. And it smells amazing from here. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good stuff. I'm just gonna take a quick peck. Oh, it looked great when it was in the window, but they heated it up and oh my goodness. I'm a happy girl. Oh my goodness. You get a little piece of cheese with some basil, a little yellow tomato, a little red tomato, and I'm gonna stick it right there in that bread, oops. Mm. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm sure I would have been happy with anything in that place, but I'm really happy with this. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm, I was filming on the other side. The, the flavor and the smell coming from over there was just like my mouth was watering just looking at Colleen. Oh man. Oh, I'm having some of that. Oh, Colleen's gonna be upset I'm taking all this cheese, but sorry, darling. I can't be wrong. <laughs> I know. You roll it like spaghetti. I roll it like a spaghetti. Oh. Oh, this hits the spot in more ways than one. Oh my God, this is delicious. This is something else. Wow. And this wasn't expensive too. Wow, it's an amazing uh, lunch. Colleen, I'm gonna let you finish because I actually got myself a uh, jambon beurre, so there you go. Give it back, give it back. And I got myself the quintessential Parisian sandwich Jambon beurre with butter. This is it. Mmm. Oh man, this is good. I mean, look at how fluffy that bread is. Crusty at the top. You know, it's just a, one small baby baguette that they make sandwiches with it. Mmm. 
this is a great stop. They have coffee in there, so if you want to make this your breakfast stop in the morning, or your lunch stop, or your afternoon snack stop, or your late evening buying some bread to go with your cheese and your wine, this is a great boulangerie right here. This is a great address. We're here at Boulangerie Colette on Rue Montegoy, and I am very excited to try this thing. That is a croissant made with grains and cereals, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit salty, savory, and I prefer salty and savory. Oh yeah, oh, look at that. Ah. <laughs> Crispy. I think I'm in love. I never had one of these before, that is flaky, fluffy, nutty. I'm a happy girl. I'm gonna dip it like they do in Lille in the Picard region. You have to review it. I get it now. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. It's not your style, but I love it. I wanna try it anyway. I'll give you a crispy peach like that. I've never had a cereal croissant either, and it's really good. I love it. When I talked to the baker inside, and he was just saying like, well, you know, I was just trying new things, and I says, well, I do it with baguette. Why not with a croissant? And I'm telling you, this is amazing. This is gonna catch on in Paris. That's a work of genius. Yeah. And this is my favorite part, like the little crunchy part here at the end. I mean, I have never seen it. I don't know if it's new, but I've never seen it in Paris. A multi-grain cereal croissant. Wow. You need to come in this street and try it out. This guy did a work of genius. That's, a, that's your new favorite? You might have to come here often because I haven't seen these anywhere else. So in this boulangerie, I got something that I've never had before. They had this boule chocolat with dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and caramel. So I took the caramel that sounded really interesting. I have never had this, uh, this bread and it looks very interesting. Oh my God. God, look at this thing, that is, oh, so it's filled with some kind of cream. Oh, wow. It's surprisingly full of flavor. Oh man, this is good. So it's really some standard type of bread. It's a bread, it's not even baguette, it's a, it's a loaf of bread, but inside there is this caramel filling, so I can imagine the chocolate, and it just, the flavor just really hits you hard. And surprisingly, when you look inside, it doesn't look like there's a lot of anything. Oh, I like this very much. It's very bready. Now, if you like like a lot of bread and you want something to settle your stomach, let's say last night you were partying a little too hard and you need something to settle your stomach, this would be a great idea. This is what we do in France, by the way. Dip it. I really enjoyed it. When I told the baker how much I love the cereal croissant, he invited us inside to go behind the scenes and see where the magic is made. Let's go see what they're doing. <laughs> now I gotta go buy a chasson pomme. <laughs> If you like this video, next I would watch this one on 10 classic French dishes you just have to try.